So how does the cross product apply to moments? Well, it applies like this. So let's say we have a situation where we have a force and this could be in any direction and we, we are given the force uh, in IJK components, Cartesian coordinates, and we're looking for the moment about O over here. Well, the moment about O is equal to R cross F, all right? So what is R? Well, R is a position vector, a position vector that goes from the point that you're taking the moment about O to where the force is applied. So for this case, it would look something like this. This is your R vector, okay? So we would perform the R vector we would find that R vector by using position vectors and we would find uh, F or we would be given F and we could find the moment around O here. All right, and we should probably be careful because if we do the cross product here, the, the output is actually the moment, all right? And if this is a 2D problem, let's pretend this is a 2D problem, all right? The moment here is going to be counterclockwise and it's going to create uh, the vector that we get out for the moment is going to be in the k direction so the k direction is in the z direction which would be like it's coming out of the page at us all right and so the moment wraps around that vector using the right hand rule so it's a it's a counterclockwise moment using the right hand rule